Hello children. Today, let us see the probability of outcomes when two coins are tossed simultaneously. Now, let us see the total possible outcomes when the two coins are tossed. The outcomes may be two heads, head and tail, tail and head and the other one two tails. Therefore, the total outcomes are four. Now, let us see some examples on probability of tossing the two coins. As we know the total outcomes are four, let us see the probability of getting head on one coin, tail on the other. We know the probability is number of favorable outcomes by total number of possible outcomes. Here the number of favorable outcomes are head and tail and tail and head. So our favorable outcomes are 2 and the total number of possible outcomes are 4. Therefore probability of head and tail would be 2 by 4 which is 1 by 2. Now, let us see the probability of getting at least one head. What do you mean by at least one head? That means in the outcomes there should be at least one head or more. Therefore, our favorable outcomes are head and head, head and tail and tail and head. Because in these three outcomes only at least one head is present. Therefore, our number of favorable outcomes are 3 by the total number of possible outcomes 4. Therefore, probability of at least one head is 3 by 4. Now, let us see one more example of probability of getting no head at all. Here, the favorable outcome is tail and tail because this is the only outcome in which there is no head at all. So, the number of favorable outcome is 1 by the total number of possible outcomes 4. Therefore, probability of no head is 1 by 4.